you did recently post a video on social media in general, just kind of out of nowhere, apologizing to Steelers fans. And last I talked to you, you made it very clear that football was in your rear view mirror um, and you're focused on boxing now. But what prompted you to make that video and share that with fans? And are you like not necessarily having second thoughts, but starting to you know miss football and uh, appreciate that life that you have on the field? I don't, I always I always appreciate football. Like I know exactly the platform and the relationships I built playing football. Like I love football forever. But like you said, I put it in my rear view. Um, I'm happy with my time that I had. The only way I ever come back on the field is if if I'm with the Steelers and I'm playing and that's like so far down the line. Like they got their little thing they got going on. I'll retire Steeler at some point. But right now, I ain't in the midst of retiring. I'm not really tripping about it. Um I think, well, hold on, what were you asking me? Something? What did you just ask me? You just ask me? I was talking about the city. What, what made you, you know, finally oh, yeah, we'll probably, want to yeah, we'll apologize? Probably, yeah, we'll probably the apology. So, what we'll probably the apology was, I was, I was actually, uh, what, what the hell was I doing? I think, like, I'm, like, going through, like, my phone, like, my, um, like, my, my albums is on my phone. And I'm, like, looking at my fight. So, it was, like, if I don't fight in jail next or whatever, and I'm, like, looking. And then it was like another fight that I seen before that when I was fighting Uriah and I was doing all these things. I was like looking at the crowd. I'm thinking like, I'm thinking like, are people like there to watch me lose, or are there people there to watch me win? So like that thought kind of went in my head, and I started kind of thinking like, like my fans, like my fans that I had are so split now because I feel like some of them were so mad at me for not playing or leaving or whatever it may be, not signing a contract. And then others understand why I was doing it and what I was standing for. So I feel like I was like kind of in the split, right? So then when I came to that realization, I kind of pondered on it for like like a week. Like I didn't really like right away tweet it. I kind of pondered on it a little bit. And um, I think one day I was like seeing something on Instagram. I forgot exactly what I see, but I think it was like something with the Steelers, whatever. And I'm thinking, like, man, I just need to apologize to my fans, bro, because it's like they love me. I know they still love me. They're just mad at me. They're mad at me, but I know they love me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like talking to like one of my guys. Oh, that's what it was. I was talking to like one of my one of my actor friends, or whatever. He was like trying to work around this movie. Well, I can't tell you about information on that yet, but it prompted the 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 idea, like, man, I need to apologize to my fans so they'll know. When I sat out, it wasn't because I'm mad at y'all or anything that y'all did. It was literally because I'm mad at upstairs. I'm mad at, you know, the the owners, the GM. You know, I'm not even mad at the coaches. I'm not at my, mad at my teammates or anything because they didn't do anything to me. Um, so I felt the need I wanted to apologize just for a simple fact that I wanted fans to hear from me where I was coming from and that I am, I'm genuinely sorry for not playing, you know, in 2018 – because I know how that made y'all feel. Like, I know that hurt y'all feelings. I know, like, there were so many people who picked me in fantasy football. Number one pick. Like, oh, yeah, lady, I'm picking him. Number one pick. You know what I'm saying? And then for me not to even come. So they lose that whole pick. That they could have picked, like, whoever was crazy at the time, whoever was that another pick they kind of went with. They chose me, and I didn't play. And they probably lost their little fantasy league, whatever. And I, I didn't really understand how big that was for people. Until now, like now I'm out of the league and I see how people take how serious they take fantasy football. So it's like I didn't at the time I didn't really understand or really it didn't re- really resonate to me how hurt they were or how upset I made them. You know what I'm saying? And then I guess it took like a little epiphany, like a couple years later. I'm like, damn, like I did do this. Damn, I, damn, I can see why they was feeling like that. So I felt the need to learn to apologize just to clear the air, let them know like, hey, where I was coming from. And at the same time, let them know I wasn't mad at y'all, and I don't want y'all to be mad at me. I was mad at upstairs. You know what I'm saying? I was it. So that's what prompted the pause. 